Yeah. Hi, Jason. Hey. Do you mind if I come in? Yeah, sure. Come in. Come in. Welcome to our humble studio. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much for letting us come in. So, how do you feel right now? Well, I feel kind of nervous. I didn't know you were coming at this time of the day. Why? What time is it? I don't know. Let me check. It's about 9.04 p.m. So, have you had your dinner? Yeah, it was pretty good. What was your dinner? I ate corned beef with chicken and uh, somebody almost puked at me. Oh, that's really sad. Anyway, can I give you a gift? Yeah, sure. I love gifts. Here you go. Oh, no way. Seriously, paano yung nakuha agad to? We are a tech vlogger, so we get early access to almost everything. Oh, that's nice. It's the Realme 7. It wasn't supposed to come out till, I don't know, next week? Yes, so do you mind unboxing it for us? Right now? Or do you want me to go set up a table? Or... No, do it now. As in right now? <laughs> okay, so what we have here is the Realme 7. If you remember, about three days ago, I unboxed the Realme 7 Pro, its bigger brother. And now it's time to finally unbox the Realme 7. Okay, so what we have here is, of course, a smaller box. And inside that, you'll get a jelly case, and the paperwork, which, again, nobody really reads. How was the jelly case? Is it thick or, you know, thin? Well, it's alright. It's mostly the type of jelly case that you get free with every smartphone. Okay, so what else is inside the box? Next, you get the phone itself. Oh, nice. What color did you get? I think it's called Mist Blue. Nice. Do you... It is. It looks good. Do you think it is available in other colors too? I know it's available in other colors too because I have here the one in mist white which Mary has. Honestly, I want first dibs on this but you know Mary, she always loves white colors on phones. So what else is inside the box? Well, inside the box of course you'll get the charging cable. Wow, is that USB-C? Of course, it's USB Type-C. And this, a power brick. Oh, so how fast can we charge the Realme 7 on that power brick? I'm not quite sure. I haven't done a charging test yet, but it's supposed to charge quickly because what we have here is a 30 watt dark charger. Oh, anyway, I think we are missing something. Is there a SIM ejector tool inside the box? Oh yeah, I, I forgot about that because the SIM tool is located here inside the yellow smaller box. Oh, I see. Anyway, how do you find the design of the Realme 7? Do you think it's really nice? Is there an upgrade? Tell us more! Well, for sure there is an upgrade. I mean, just look at how good it looks. Whenever light hits it, it has a glowing effect every time. Okay, do you think it's made of glass? Well, actually, at first, I thought it was made out of glass, but inspecting closer, it's actually made out of plastic, and it has a soft matte finish. Do you think it comes with any other protection besides the jelly case? Good thing you asked that. This is actually the first smartphone, aside from the Realme 7 Pro, that has a TUV Rain Land certification. Can you tell us more about that? Well, like I said with my Realme 7 Pro video, it basically means that this is a very reliable smartphone and it'll last you for years. Really? So do you think the Realme 7 and the 7 Pro will last you for more than, you know, Five to seven years? I'm not quite sure about five to seven years because in that time there's probably a Realme 11 we don't know yet. But yeah, it's gonna last you a long time. I forgot to ask you what variant is that? Well, this is the 8 gigs of RAM with 128 gigs of internal storage. Do you think it comes with other variants too? Honestly, I don't know yet, but I do hope that there's a 6 gigs of RAM variant for those with tight budgets. By the way, I noticed that the camera setup is very different from the Realme it 6. It is, isn't it? It's not the pill-shaped one anymore. It's kind of rectangular. Also, the camera modules look smaller than they used to. So overall, how do you find the design of the Realme 7? Do you think it is something worth considering, especially for those people who has the Realme 6 already? Well, it is an upgrade design-wise. And if people want to upgrade from the Realme 6, I think that's a good choice. Though you might want to consider the weight because it is quite hefty. Why? How much does it weigh? Well, to be specific, it weighs 196 grams. And it is quite hefty even for a plastic phone. Oh, okay. Do you mind sharing with us where the buttons and ports are located? Yeah, for sure. At the right, you'll see a power button which also acts as its fingerprint scanner. At the left, you'll see the triple slot SIM tray for dual SIM and an expandable storage. You'll also see the volume rockers here 
At the bottom, you'll see a 3.5mm audio port, two microphones, a USB Type-C port, and the speaker grill. Thank you so much for that, Jason. My pleasure. Before I ask you more questions for the display, how do you describe the Realme 7 in three words? Well, in three words, I'll describe this phone as elegant, heavy, and affordable. Really? You find it affordable? Do you know the price already? Well, I don't know the exact price yet, but I do hope the price range is the same as the Realme 6. Nice! So let me ask you more questions about the display. Wait, if there are more questions? Yeah! You're not allowed to ask questions because I am asking Why not? Questions. So how was the display? Is it also AMOLED? Same with that Speak Brother Realme 7 Pro? Well, it's not AMOLED, but it is an IPS LCD with a high refresh rate of 90Hz. Oh, that's really cool. So same with the Realme 6, right? You're right. So how do you find the display? Is it also good as the Super AMOLED display? Or, you know, Super AMOLED display is still better? Well, you know me. I'll always choose AMOLEDs, but knowing real me, they make very nice IPS LCD panels. So considering the amount we're paying for, it's pretty okay. The colors are pretty accurate, there are nice viewing angles, and even under direct sunlight, I can still see it clearly. Oh wow, is that a single punch hole? Yeah, it is a single punch hole. Nice! Does it come with, you know, some effects? Well, funny you ask, it actually lights up when you use the face unlock, and also lights up when you're using the front-facing camera. Funny question! Mm -hmm. Are you a fan of K-pop? Because I noticed <laughs> it on your videos. Well, before I wasn't much of a fan of K-pop, but right now there are many girl groups and many great songs that, you know, just hits right. Oh, okay. How many cameras do we have for the Realme 7? Well, to be specific, we have a total of five cameras, four at the back and one in the front. Do you mind naming them all? Yeah, sure. This one's Bob, this one's Marley, Jenny, um, I'm gonna name you Louis. Well, kidding aside, for its main sensor, you have a 64 megapixel Sony IMX682 sensor. For the ultrawide, you have an 8 megapixel sensor. For the black and white portrait lens, you have a 2 megapixel sensor. And you also have a 2 megapixel sensor for its macro lens. Oh, so do you think it has the same set of cameras with the Realme 7 Pro? Well, actually, if you see it side by side, they do have the same sensors. But the difference is the front camera, which houses a 16 megapixel sensor instead of a 32 megapixel one. Oh, is that so? Do you mind showing us a few pictures taken by the Realme 7? Yeah, sure. The sample pictures will be shown in the next clip. Does it shoot 4K? Well, yes, it shoots 4K, but if you want to shoot at 60 FPS, unfortunately, that's only 1080p. And also, if you want to shoot using the front-facing camera, it only shoots at 1080p. How about the chipset? I heard it's new. Yes, it is new. It has the MediaTek Helio G95. It is actually the first time they put it in a smartphone. It's new, and it is used in the Realme 7. So. Do you think the Helio G95 is a really good chipset for gaming? So far, yes, it is quite good for gaming. I didn't experience many frame drops, and it is quite smooth. How about the Antutu score? Do you already have it? I already have it, but I can't show it to you yet. You'll have to wait for our full review. Oh, okay. Do you like MediaTek over Snapdragon? Well, Snapdragon all day every day, but considering this is a new chipset, we would give it a chance. How is the battery? You told us earlier that the phone is quite heavy. Do you think it's because of that? Yes, it is because of that because this phone has a 5000 milliamp hour battery that is capable of 30 watt dark charging. Oh wow, 5000 milliamp hour battery capacity? Do you think it will last you for two whole days? Well, I think it would, considering that the G95 is also an efficient chipset. Is that so? How about the charging? What did Realme promise to consumers? Well, Realme promised that this will charge up to 50% in just 26 minutes. Oh, okay. Do you think it will work? I don't know yet, but I will try in our full review. So, overall, how do you find the Realme 7 so far? Overall, this phone looks promising. I really like the design, the chipset used, which is the G95, and the battery, which will surely last you two whole days. 
I'm also glad because previously the Realme 6 only had 4,300 milliamp hours of battery capacity, but with this, it's now bumped up to 5,000 milliamp hours. Thank you so much, Jason. Do you know how much it costs? I don't know the price yet, but look forward to our full review coming next week. Oh, okay. Thank you so much, Jason, for answering all of my questions. Well, thanks for having me. Any more questions? Am I pretty? Of course you are. <laughs> <laughs> so that is it for today's video. Again, it's me, Jason. Hope you liked it. See you in the next one. Bye, guys.